Dingo's hunting a squirrel. How you guys doing, Eric here? Today is Friday, November 3rd, 2017. And tomorrow's the big day. Supposedly tomorrow the Antifa revolution starts. And also they're expecting a, there's gonna be an EMP drill from the 4th to the 6th. So, yeah, man, some, we're expecting some shit to go down. And it's, today's the last day to prepare for it. So, as soon as I'm done walking my dog here, I'm going into town. See how much money I got in the bank? I think I got about at least 800 bucks, man. That's, that's all I got left in my emergency account, man. So, I'm gonna spend a lot of that money take out some cash, at least have a couple hundred bucks in my pocket, um, stock up on some food, get, get a bunch of cans in case the power goes out, maybe spend a hundred bucks or so on some cans of food and dog food. Make sure I got, I should be able to survive for about a month. I got some food at home already, but I'm gonna get more, you know, because you know, I'm expecting something to happen, you know, and I'd be a fucking idiot if I didn't, you know, get some water, some food, have some gas in my car, you know, just little things that I can do to, just in case I got some, I chopped up some wood yesterday, I laid in a little bit, at least for, I got enough in my house for a couple days if the power goes out, and uh, I got a lot of other things, a lot of other wood around the house that I can, that I can get into and, and burn it if I have to. It's like emergency wood supply. So yeah, I should be able to survive for about a month if, if all shit breaks loose, man. I don't think anything that horrible is gonna happen, but you know, if it does, I'll be prepared, you know, and then I'll always have a little bit of extra food in my house because it could be, a, long, it could be a, a horrible winter, man. So it's good to be prepared anyways, but uh, and all I can do is hope for the best but always be prepared for the worst, you know? So, I mean, not gonna be, uh, uh, you know, really, really very well prepared, you know? Like I said, I'm, I'm only gonna be able to, I think I should be able to survive for a month. But after that, if things are that shitty, man, after a month, I don't know if, if I won't even wanna survive anymore after that, because if things are that bad, you know, that, that the power's out for a month straight, then what's the quality of life gonna be like anyways if you're trying to survive through it? So, yeah, you know, real, you know, in all seriousness though, you know, I'd say there's maybe a less than a 10% chance that the worst case scenario is gonna come about, you know? But if something horrible does happen over the weekend, and I knew, and I, I had an idea, but I didn't do anything to prepare myself, then I would be a fucking fool, an idiot, and I would deserve to die. But yeah, I also, I got some guns, I got some ammo, I got a, I got 30 odd six, but things get really bad, I could take down a moose. So, that's another thing I can do if, if I have to survive in the future. But, you know, I think if things get that fucking bad, that there's going to be military action, just like they did in California. They're going to come through here and burn out every fucking house in this area, man, like they've been doing. It's been going, I've, I've been not watching it for a while. I mean, I've noticed it since like 2010 or so, they've been doing that shit here in Colorado. The same thing they did, I think they were, they were using directed energy weapons in some of these fires because it was the same fucking shit where the, all the houses in the neighborhood were burnt down and all the trees around it are still standing. It's fucking bullshit, man. It's, it's fucking obviously, obviously fucking war. It's a war going on against the fucking innocent civilians, man. And that's how they do it. Deni possible deniability, man. Oh, it was a fire. And then there's all kinds of videos on the internet about directed energy weapons actually showing it, man. Laser fucking beams coming out of the sky, man. 
and it's been captured by many by several different people so yeah i think if things get that fucking bad they're gonna come through this area and fucking wipe out everybody so there won't be nothing to worry about anymore also tonight i'm having a dinner party having a nice little couple friends come over i'm gonna slow cook a nice chicken with potatoes and peppers and onions and celery and make a pie have a few drinks with some friends and just enjoy myself have a really nice night tonight because who knows it might be the last time we get to relax and enjoy ourselves for a while probably not but i am going to enjoy it and then, and then i'll have some of that chicken to eat for a few days so yeah so that's one thing i would suggest to people to do tonight is just after you get yourself all prepared relax have a nice meal enjoy some quality time with friends and family and then be prepared for what's going to happen in the next few days all right man that's all i got thanks for watching we'll talk to you guys soon Dingo. Dingo.